here, and I have got something cool to show you. Yeah, man. I just got this in today. Uh, this is a little gentleman's knife made in Zollingen, Germany uh, by a very famous maker. And this is uh, honestly one of the... I know I say this about a lot of my knives. This is one of the nicest knives I've ever handled. It's just so beautifully crafted and uh, well designed. It's just it's a thing of beauty. It really is. I mean, first, just look at these beautiful, I think these are like a sheep's horn scales, I believe. I think that's like the white and black one. I mean, they could be buffalo. They could be uh, various types of horn, but I believe these are sheep horn. But, um... Uh, you can see right here where a mouse or something has a rat or mouse has chewed on it and eaten some of the scales. That's a thing that'll happen if you have a horn scale knife and it's poor and it's stored in a place where bugs or rodents can get to it. Uh, you're going to have a bad time. Uh, luckily, this one's not that bad. And these scales are so beautiful. This knife is so cool. It, it doesn't even, it hardly even detracts to it from it for me anything it just gives it more character it's really cool seeing the layer of how there it gets darker behind the white uh i think that's interesting it's like the white is like a layer on top of the dark horn that's super cool but man we've got a wee little corkscrew yes the wee little corkscrew there but it'll get the job done you know this is not like you're not going to be like uh opening you know every bottle of wine at every meal with this guy but this is the one you break out in a pinch when you're you're uh you can't find uh, where you place the uh the normal house uh corkscrew and uh you know you get the job done with this so this is like a 90 percent knife you know it's great 90 percent of the time um finally up here let's go to, let's go to the top i mean my god the ends everything is just so smooth there is nothing proud there's no gaps there's no misalignments it's it's damn near flawless if not flawless as far as the top top tools go we've got a small but perfectly serviceable pen blade as is pretty pretty typical of these knives um We've got a little pair of scissors, scissors, and uh, these feel very nice. I haven't cut anything. I have no doubt that they'll cut just fine, but mechanically, uh, they feel very nice. I think they're uh, an interesting design. They kind of got a fishtail shape to them, the way this they curve this handle, but still very nice, stamped rust-free, stainless on the scissors little R was stamped on the small blade and then for the main event pal that is a really nice useful size for a blade this uh, knife is let me see and here's an 84 millimeter so there's an 84 millimeter Victorinox yeah uh, she's naked but it, it, it's I uh, trust me that's what it is and that's a little longer I've got something like, here is an executive, so that's 74 millimeters, so this is quite a bit longer than the executive, it's almost, you know, it's it's a solid three inch knife is what it is, but uh, it's, it's a great size, it's not too small that it can't do some things, uh, it's big enough to do 90% of tasks. That's what I was saying. It's like a 90% knife. You know, there's 10% of things that you wouldn't be able to do with this blade. But 90% of the time, if you wanted to eat an apple with it, you could go ahead and do your grandpa sitting on a porch on a summer day eating an apple. Uh, if you want to, uh, uh, you know, open the package with your next knife in it, it would be perfect for that too. So it's just a great size blade, you know. And then you've also got a backup. So if you, you could have, you could do the two blade system where you keep one razor sharp and beat up on the other one. Uh, you've got a lot of flexibility there. And now finally, this is 
like a, this is always a premium feature on a knife, but the way they've done this one just goes above and beyond. And that is the back uh, long nail file. And uh, something that you have to understand about these long nail files is that it to give to provide a spring for that back tool, the spring, the spring that is horizontally through the center here, basically has to be split so it actually splits out into a y so one is the spring for this little blade and one part is the spring for the nail file and that's often a weak point in uh, these knives victorinox ones were done pretty badly I, I, they seem to hold up pretty well though i think the smaller knives handle it better than the bigger knives because uh the spring got cut so, down so fine on on the victorinox ones but um I mean, I have a bunch of knives with that feature, and like here's a typical long nail file on a beautiful uh, Wester Brews knife. And you can see you've got just, you've got a bigger nail file, but you've still got a fine tip. Uh, there we go, get under there. I literally just clipped my nails last night and they're already getting dirty. But, uh, it's a great design, but then you've got more surface area to work with here. The thing with these little thin nail files is that they just tend to slip off your finger while you're not doing it. If you are if you don't have great coordination or you got a buzz on, uh, good luck with that. Um, here's another uh, variation on that. This is a JE Detert, also from Solingen, and they have the wide back nail file, but because of that, they also have a wide tip, and I find this tip doesn't get in there quite as good as the skinny tip. So basically we've got, you know, this one's a little too wide, this one's too narrow, and this one was just right. But yeah, it's this is just, this is like my new favorite thing right now. Uh, it's also just a sick combination of, of horns. I love that they do that. They'd have, you know, one side have the uh, the light, one side have the dark. And the funny thing, I believe this would be the show side. Uh, to me, the show side of a knife is generally uh, the main blade pointing down with the pivot to the right. You know, so the main blade pointing down like that. Yes, if you know, or if the pivot's on top, then the blade's pointing down kind of idea. I don't know how to explain that, but this is how I view uh, knives. And uh, yeah, most of them, a lot of them, basically, that's the way Victorinox is oriented. You know, the blade is pointing down. So that means to me that this was meant to be the show scale, even though the corkscrew is normally on the back side but I think it just works out better. But then I look at this and the way they did, that's the other thing with this that you don't see with these nail files is it's kind of a mix of like how they do the, uh, the all designs, like uh, this 40s Victorinox, how the all is cut out for. So instead of the nail file being wholly recessed within the liners, it's like, it's just uh, matched right up to the edge and you get just that hint of it coming around the corner. And that is just such a beautiful pop of chrome. Uh, it's just great. Uh, I think it's a home run. Very happy to have that knife in my collection. Uh, I immediately thought of pairing it with this guy, this Alsonius uh, uh, Maniago Italy kind of mystery officer's knife. This is just a big, beefy beast of a knife, but mainly it's also got that same kind of white black scale thing going on. But uh, then another knife I thought would be an another fantastic. This one doesn't really match it that much, but it's just it would be the gr it would be exactly what I was talking about. This would be able to handle that those few tasks that were a little unachievable for that small blade. And this is the Fox Knives Nauta. Very simple knife, basically work knife shape. They sell it as a German 
a Navy knife or something like that. I, I don't know if the German Navy ever used the knife or if it's available to them. I don't know how that works. I don't know if it works like in the United States where as long as you can get them to do a stock number for it, then you can say it's an army thing, you know. But uh, but either way, it's a cool knife. Uh, like, not super expensive. Like a $50 knife, relatively cheap knife. But man, the finish on it is just fantastic. It's got that stone washed finish it's only uh 440c but they did a great job with it still seems to hold an edge really well cuts cuts really well sharpens up very easily then comes right to a nice nice sharp nice spine point um very happy with this knife but i just think this and this would make for a killer killer combination so that is my rant on the kissing crane Thank you for watching again. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.